was actually just snowing a little bit, but it's sunny out, really random. But uh, <clears throat> today's video, I'm actually, um, I got a lot of questions on if I could do a video just on my performance mods. Uh, and kind of go over what the horsepower uh, currently the car has. Um, just kind of give people a perspective as to uh, kind of where the car is sitting. Because uh, it, it isn't stock in terms of, you know, the stock power and, and everything like that. Uh, I don't have much done to it, but it's enough to be different than stock. Um, uh, you know, I, but just keep in mind, I haven't done a dyno or anything. This is just purely based on, um, you know, the research and... Uh, what the companies claim that the, the power that the power is at, um, you know, and also just the butt dyno. Obviously, I can tell the car is much quicker than it is stock. Uh, but you know, it's, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to exaggerate the numbers because I know, uh, <clears throat> I kind of know where these cars sit when you do these kind of mods. So, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to first go over, um, I guess, the power mods that I do have on the car. And then we'll kind of get into, you know, I'll, I'll uh, you know, open up the hood, I'll show you what I have underneath, uh, and just kind of kind of go around the car and explain what I have, which is not much, but uh, again, it's, it's worth noting, and I'm sure you guys will be interested. So um, let me get to the gym, and then I'll catch back up with you guys in a bit. said they wanted to get some point of view um, shots me just driving around uh, I do plan on getting something better because right now I'm just holding the camera but like a head mount or something um, so you can guys see a little bit better view of I guess what I see when I drive you know I wanted to do this outside but it's a little too um, it's a little too windy today and obviously you know it just sounds terrible and everything so I figure might as well just kind of sit in the car where it's comfortable and not windy and not cold and uh, we'll talk about my performance mods. Performance mods I have on this car, there's not many. I don't plan on doing many. It's a, you know, I don't want to go overboard with this. I want to keep it as simple as possible. Uh, it's very hard to do that. Being, you know, being a car enthusiast, um, it is hard to just not go overboard. Um, but I've reached a point on this build, you want to call it a build, but I reached a point on this car where I'm so happy with it that anything more that I do, I'm not, I think it would start, um, it would change my perspective on how much, you know, I guess I enjoy the car. I don't want to make it unbearable to drive or just too loud or, or just too much going on. It's at a perfect point where right now where I'm just, you know, I'll let, add little things here and there down the road, but there's not much more that I really plan on doing it doing to it but I mean who knows maybe that'll change um, if this becomes a fun car or something or I have something else to kind of do double duty you know not have to drive this every single day but anyway uh, the performance mods that I have on this car currently are um, a Cobb SF intake uh, with the airbox um, I have a Delta Motor Works catback exhaust with no resonators uh, it's a muffler delete as well so there's no mufflers no resonators no anything it's just literally inch pipe um, from the cat's back uh, and you know and obviously it has the, the four exhaust tips I'm not a fan of the single single exit although you know it sounds good I just I prefer the four exhaust tips um, and last but not least uh, is the top access port with the Brent tuning stage one plus tune uh, which is an e-tune it is not an off-the-shelf tune um, oops uh, and you know, it's not a dyno tune or anything like that, but it is an e-tune, so it's kind of the, the next step up from uh, off the shelf, uh, which I'm really happy with. So, um, so those are 
those are the three mods. I don't have anything crazy. I don't have anything over the top. I don't have any external dumps, external wastegate, anything like that. And I don't plan on doing it, at least at this point in time. Um, and like I said, I want to keep it as simple as possible. I don't want to go overboard. If I ever want to sell this car stock or, or you know, anything does happen to the, the motor, I need to bring it in for warranty work. It's stuff that I can easily be removed. It's not, it's not a full, uh, you know, demod of the car that I have when I have to bring it in or something. Or, uh, you know, it's it's very very simple. So I want to make, I always want to make sure that I was not going overboard with it. And I think I've accomplished that. And I'm I'm really chomping at the bit to do something else here. But um, I, I'm trying to keep myself at bay here and just trying to keep it where it is. So in terms of power. Um, you know, it's it's subjective. I, you know, I, I haven't done a dyno on this car, so I don't know exact numbers. But based off of the, you know, the dynographs and everything from uh, Brent Tuning, and just you know, just doing research and basically where where uh, um, you know an STI is at a stage one plus, I guess, uh, horsepower number. Um, I'm probably around. Keep in mind, stock is 305 horsepower at the crank not the wheels um, and I think it's like 290 foot-pounds or something like that um, and that's stock um, so after after all my performance mods that I've done I'm probably sitting at probably around 300 horsepower and maybe uh, to the wheels and maybe a little less maybe a little more um, you know, don't hold me to that this is just a uh, you know like I said off of off of dynagraphs that I've seen and just kind of what I the butt dyno I'm probably sitting at around maybe like anywhere from 315 to 320 torque, maybe a little more, uh, which I think is plenty for this car. You know, obviously it's fun to have more, um, but once you start bumping it up with you know higher boost levels, uh, higher torque especially, uh, the stock internals just can't take it. That's when you start running into issues, and I, like I said, I don't want that to happen. I'm trying to keep it very simple here. Um, so I feel like those numbers um, is like it's absolutely perfect. Uh, of course, you know. Being, like I said, being a car enthusiast, you always want more, you always want to keep going. But, um, uh, you know, keeping it simple, and it's, it's almost better in the long run, you know, just kind of letting it go and just enjoying what it is currently is making me appreciate this car even more. Um, you know, I everything I've done to this car, I've just put on, I haven't had to think or worry about it. I've done things in the past where I've done a mod and I've constantly had to tinker with it, you know, sell it, change it up, try something else out. Um, with this one, it's everything I've done is like, I put it on and haven't had to touch it, which is my favorite. Um, that's just like my goal in, in modding a car, you know, I want to be able to just put it on, enjoy it, and never have to really think about it again in terms of you know, upgrading it or changing it or adjusting it, you know, it's, it gets really tiring after, after all that. And I, I know with previous parts that I have to do that and it sucked and it kind of made me hate that mod. Um, so now that I'm at this, this level currently, um, I'm really, really happy with it. Uh, I, I mentioned in the past, uh, a couple videos ago that I, I am talking to a, a company that I'm really fond of that, uh, is trying to get me into some more power, some more power mods. But we'll see where that happens. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not jumping uh, up and down yet. I'm not really uh, definitely going to do it because it, obviously it, it's more work for me to do to install the mods. And there's also more stress that I'm also thinking about of, you know, just more on the car that I, I have to worry about and think about and everything. So like I said, there comes a point when you just have to be like, okay, this is enough. I'm enjoying this. Don't mess with it. Um, so I don't want to go past that level, but we'll see. Uh, but you know, those power mods that I am talking with to this company, um, it's nothing crazy. It is stage two, um, but it's it would be a pretty cool, it would be a pretty cool uh, upgrade, I'm, I'm sure, which I'm sure a lot of you would uh, enjoy seeing and hearing about and, and you know, me discussing it with you. So we'll see where that goes. But for right now, I'm not really, um, you know, going for it. I'm, I'm just kind of sticking to where the car is right now. It sounds cool with the intake. Uh, it has great, a great sound. You hear plenty of turbo noises. Uh, the power's perfect. I hardly get any knock at all. And by that, I mean negative 1.4, which is 100% completely normal on this car. Um, I don't go past that at all. The dam stays at one constantly. Never, it has never went down or up or anything it hasn't changed for one so like i said i'm really happy with where it is currently so i'm not gonna go crazy um but down the line who knows maybe 
I'll get bored. Maybe I don't want to. I see like I'm going back and forth on this, but I'm just kind of leaving it open ended. But for right now, at this point in time, I'm not, I'm not going to change it up. Stage one plus is perfect. And I think a lot of people can relate to that because it's really, it's not, I mean, it is expensive. I don't want to say it's not. Um, but you know, like an exhaust, a thousand bucks, Cobb Access Port plus, you know, an E2, and you're looking at, you know, a little over a thousand bucks. Um, and the intake, I forget, I think that's like 300 or so. Um, so you're looking at anywhere from like two to 2,500, you know, 2,000 to 2,500 for a stage one plus car uh, with proper parts. Um, so, I mean, obviously that's, you know, that's an estimate. You can obviously go cheaper or more expensive. It really depends on what you do and what brands and everything. But that's kind of where you're looking at in terms of price wise and I guess uh, power wise as well. Um, you know, don't hold me to it. It's just what I personally think and where I feel the car is at currently. Um, so if you want to, you know, give some give some thoughts about where you think this car is, maybe it's more, maybe it's less. Um, that's fine. I'm, I'm open. I'm all ears here. You know, I'm not, I'm not, um, it's not written in stone here. I'm not <laughs> claiming that it's anything or anything like that. So, but the car is fun. I really enjoy it. It's reliable. And, um, and yeah, that's all I, uh, that's all I'm asking for this car. So, um, that's it for this video. Uh, next couple videos, I plan on doing something pretty cool. Um, I know a lot of people are interested in, in how much one spends on a car. Um, so I'm gonna do two separate videos on uh, one, the cost that I've spent on this car maintenance wise, you know, with oil changes, oil filter changes, just everything in general since I've owned it. I'm gonna give a breakdown of that just so people um, are, you know, can see how much it costs to, to maintain an STI because I always say maintaining and affording or buying and affording a car is two separate things. So you have to make sure you can afford it, not only just buy it, be able to buy it. Um, so, and in the other video, I'm, I'm going to break down the price of every single mod that I've done on this car currently, not past mods, just what's on here currently, and give you my total that I've spent. I added it up the other day and uh, it kind of hurts, but I think you guys might be interested in that. So that's it for the video. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll be sure to catch you guys on the next one.